Welcome back. As promised, it's time to run you through the CNBC TV 18 list of uh, and we have uh, several names on the list today. We have Vivek joining in to kick things off. Uh, Vivek, you're watching for JSW Steel. Why is that? Well, absolutely right. JSW Steel, some very strong commentary coming in from the company at you know, the uh, two CNBC TV 18 at the SPI conclave. Number one, steel demand trends continue to remain quite strong. You know, they grew by 13% last year and by 15% this year. This is what Jayant Acharya told us. They are saying that going forward, the company has plans of almost capex of almost rupees 1 lakh crore and they are planning to take their capacity up to 50 million tonne by the end of this particular decade itself. India's present steel capacity is close to 170 million tonne and is aiming to have steel capacity of close to 300 million tonne, you know, implying that an additional 130 million tonne of capacity will be coming up. Apart from that, they're saying that they need to add capacity in order so that India doesn't need to import steel. He has also alluded to the fact that they are open to MA, not giving any definitive targets as of now, both in terms of timeline and also identified targets. But, you know, just the cap capex that they have highlighted is something that we need to watch out for. Big capex plans could boost JSW Steel today, but there was one lone stock in the red when we were looking at our stocks board, and that is Zomato. Manglam joins in for more on that. Manglam. Well, for Zomato, you know, the reason why it is a red is largely because there has been a tax a show cause notice for GST worth nearly 400 crores coming in from DD, DG GST Pune. And this is for, uh, you know, perhaps the GST that the company didn't pay between October 2019 to about March 2022 or the company is liable to pay as per the DG GST on the delivery charges that the company is collected from customers. On its part, the company has said that, you know, the only reason why they've even, uh, you know, uh, disclosed it to the stock exchanges is because it is the, the amount that has been, uh, you know, uh, in, in contention here. No real notice has come from them with regards to the tax demand, and they don't believe they are liable to pay this because the company is collecting the GST on behalf of delivery partners and is not the end uh, keeper of the delivery charges itself. However, having said all of this, you know, these regulatory issues for stocks like Zomato would perhaps be an entry opportunity. See a bit of red at the open, but will recover also given its year end. And Zomato is usually the stock in focus there. Mangalam, thanks very much uh, for that. So keep an eye out on that one. But Abhishek is now standing by and we're going to talk about Canada Bank and South Indian Bank. Abhishek, morning. Uh, morning, Prashant. So to begin with, Canada Bank has approved the initiation process to list its mutual fund uh, business, that is Can Robeco AMC. Uh, now, Can uh, Canada Bank holds about 51% uh, over there, while the 49% is held by uh, Robeco Group NV, which is now the Oryx Corporation in Japan. So Can Robeco uh, net profits for FI23 uh, were about 79 crores, and Can Robeco AM uh, is about 78,400 crore as per the latest filing, uh, that is available as of November 23. It will be interesting to see what kind of valuation Street gives to this entity given the fact that 88 to 90 percent of their AUM is in equity and higher equity share always means better valuation for an AMC. Uh, South Indian Bank, the board has approved fundraising of uh, Rs 1,750 crore via the rights issue. Now calculation if done at CMP uh, would mean that equity dilution would be about 31.3 percent. Net worth will increase by almost 24 0.7 percent tier one ratio gets a massive boost of 448 basis point however book value can decline by more than five percent back to you okay so fundraising at south indian bank we'll watch out for that thank you very much abhishek for the details there let's go across to sonal now she's watching out for a bunch of mid caps uh, that could be interesting to look at today which ones are these sonal well, three stocks on my radar today, Sirbi. Let me start with Coromandel International. We've been uh, tracking uh, the updates there at their Chennai plant since yesterday. Now the Tamil Nadu Pollution Board has said that there's no further leakage from their liquid ammonia pipeline. And now the company is directed to identify the reason for this and what would the financial impact be on the company as well. And company has been asked to rectify damages before resuming ammonia transfer. So no more leakage and no more fatalities that have been reported. Uh, Petronet LNG, there is an expansion plan in place because they've signed the binding transaction document with Gopalpur Ports uh, for setting up LNG terminal on the east coast of India. This is in the Gopalpur district in Odisha. So there is uh, some expansion that the company is undertaking. Confidence Petroleum, the company has received an order worth 67 crore rupees. This is from BPCL for manufacturing of Z CNG cascades, both stationary and portable. Uh, so that stock will be on in focus as well. Thank you very much for that. And for more stocks that are in the news, let's go across to Upasna. Upasna.
Well, first up is GE Power. The company has received LOI from NTPC for procurement of spare parts for carrying out Class B inspection of Unit 1 at NTPC Solapur. Well, the value of the contract is around 10.47 crores. Well, next up is PTC Industries. The company has signed an MOU with Nasmith UK for collaboration to leverage capabilities for offering solutions to defense and aerospace customers in India and globally. The company believes that the collaboration will help to increase capacity in the market, vertically integrate supply chain solutions and provide global solutions to OEMs. Next up is KPI Green Energy. The board meeting is scheduled on 30th of December 2023 to consider the proposal of issue of bonus equity shares. Okay, got that up, Asan. Thank you very much for uh, placing them on our radar. So those are the stocks that we'll look out for. Quick recap of the list then. The ones that have positive news flow around them are JSW Steel, Canara Bank, South Indian Bank, Coromandel International, Confidence Petroleum, Petronet LNG, GE Power, PTC India and KPI Green Energy. Zomato, as we told you, is the only stock that has some negative news around it in the form of uh, those potential GST notices. Okay, so that's the stock list based on news flow and corporate developments. Uh, what are brokers saying this